people have always been dependent on the weather. Lightning poses a particular danger. Using smart technology, it's possible to detect this danger early on. In contrast to other weather data, such as radar, satellite, etc., lightning data has the great advantage of presenting weather practically in real time, without the need for interpretation. A lightning strike is a lightning strike. We are talking about a millionth of a second difference, yet these stations are synchronized to a billionth of a second via GPS. Lightning data has become vital for many industries. It makes our modern life safer. Nowcast has developed a system that registers lightning reliably. Weather affects punctuality. Weather affects safety. In this respect, weather and information about it play a really important role for us. Threshold technology. Nowcast has successfully transferred technology from the lab to an operating company and further developed it there. Our small but highly motivated, competent and highly specialized team has turned the business into a leader in this technology. Nowcast now offers lightning data of the highest quality almost anywhere in the world. Garching near Munich, the science location. At the end of the 1980s, atomic physicist Hans-Dieter Bates investigated atmospheric physics here. At that time, there was no means of precisely measuring lightning. Professor Bates wanted to change that. The possibility of developing such a network has a lot to do with us, and not just myself, but my colleagues too, being physicists, experimental physicists who are all familiar with modern measuring methods. That's absolutely crucial for developing an efficient, smart system. The scientists took advantage of a property of lightning, electromagnetic radiation, it is released in every flash of lightning. This energy is mainly made up of electromagnetic radiation, like low-frequency radio waves, and can be picked up by our antennae, which are similar to radio antennae. And this is even true for long distances of up to around 1,000 kilometers. Multiple antennae are needed to determine the precise location of a lightning strike. The electromagnetic impulse is dispersed at nearly the speed of light. It is therefore registered by the various antennae at a minimal difference in time. A patented algorithm allows the exact position of the lightning strike to be calculated. Extremely high sensitivity makes our lightning measurement system stand out from the others. It can even measure far away in very weak strikes with the highest precision. The unique design of our antennae and the fact that we always take measurements with several sensors makes this possible, and it renders us immune to disturbances. Nowcast operates its own independent detection networks around the world. Nowcast operates lightning measurement networks in many parts of the world. This enables us to provide customers in various industries with real-time 3D high-precision lightning data in real time. The data can be made available either in proprietary Nowcast web applications or be integrated into the customer's applications as a real-time data stream. Nowcast also distributes completely autonomous and scalable lightning detection networks. These are modular solutions that will be configured according to specific requirements, installed on site and integrated with the customer's infrastructure. 
Whether to opt for Lightning Data or a complete hardware solution is entirely up to the customer. They need to take both CapEx and OpEx into consideration, as well as any specific safety requirements and any financial support or subsidies that may be available. This is important information for national weather services. The German Weather Service has been involved in developing the network from the beginning and was one of the first users. Today, lightning data is a key component of its forecasts. We've now developed reliable forecasting methods with the other methods of radar and satellite meteorology. This means we can accurately predict for the next 30, 60 or 120 minutes where the lightning storm will move. And lightning positioning, the integration of lightning data into the whole system is important for this. Munich International Airport, a large aviation hub with over 1,000 flight movements per day. A complex system in which everything has to connect seamlessly. Every minute of delay costs an airline a substantial amount of money. We are responsible for ensuring the flights run as punctually as possible, alongside our top priority on safety. With a hub like here in Munich, where there's a networking of long, medium and short distance flights with high passenger flows, it's important to optimally plan possible capacities on the basis of weather data. Lightning poses a serious danger to air traffic. The aircraft have to be redirected in good time. Planning is therefore constantly subjected to adjustment. Reliable lightning data is indispensable here. We have satellite data showing where storm conditions, clouds and convective clouds are forming. But it's also important to see where lightning strikes are happening, where lightning activity is in these weather systems, since this is also an early indicator whether a storm system is going to move into the respective corridors of air sectors or whether the airports themselves are affected. Nowcast offers yet another feature namely cell tracking. The high precision of our lightning data permits the now casting of where and at what speed and with which intensity one can expect thunderstorms. It's not only the aircraft in the air that are affected by lightning storms, but also passengers and staff at the airport. We naturally have to keep our employees' safety in mind and ensure that is prevent anyone from being struck or harmed by lightning. On the other hand, we also of course have to limit the restrictions to our customers as much as possible. The data provided by Nowcast on the Linit View system plays a major role in lightning detection for us. The system doesn't just show lightning, it also shows lightning cells. Lightning cell forecasts are made on the basis of the cell's direction and speed, that is, where the cell will likely be when. This is indispensable information for aviation. Quality is at the heart of everything we do at Nowcast. It starts with research, which we carry out ourselves in collaboration with international universities and our own experts. Then there is the complete development of both software and hardware, which our own experts undertake in-house at Nowcast. We even build the hardware and we operate the networks with which we measure lightning strikes in more and more countries across the world. Energy drives our modern way of life. Energy providers are increasingly dependent on the weather because weather can disrupt sensitive energy supplies. Here we have an energy network with a length of 32,000 kilometers. So we first actually have to find the location of the disruption along this 32,000 kilometer length. In the worst case scenario, there's a power outage. The cause has to be found as quickly as possible. Lightning data is available in real time. When we know lightning has struck in the vicinity, which we can find out using this lightning data, this is also visualized here, 
we can then switch the line back on. And if there's still damage, only then do we need to send out our on-call service to the site to carry out repair work. This way, energy providers can keep power outages to an absolute minimum. And that gives them a competitive edge. The German Armed Forces University near Munich. Here, lightning can be artificially generated in the high voltage laboratory. Perfect testing conditions for lightning chasers. It isn't just all about lightning positioning, but also about specifying the data generated. We're talking about hail warning and severe rain warning. We're also talking about perfecting, forecasting and optimizing lightning development to the exact minute. Foundational research for new products. The artificial discharges are recorded using high-speed cameras. This provides valuable data in laboratory conditions for perfecting the systems. Many branches like the wind power and insurance industries profit from these test results. I firmly believe that lightning data has a lot more potential. Meteorological service providers, insurances, airports, air traffic management and energy suppliers rely today heavily on lightning data in order to protect lives and to maximize cost efficiency. But there are many more areas where lightning data could help to improve both safety and efficiency. I am thinking of major outdoor events, for example, which could be made much safer with lightning information. And, in aviation, highly precise real-time information would be extremely helpful in the cockpit. But how can you tell if a storm will really produce hail? The answer lies in two different kinds of lightning. In addition to cloud-to-ground strokes, there are also intercloud strokes, which discharge inside the storm cloud. The higher the intercloud strokes rise, the more powerful the lightning storm is. One advantage of our system is that we aren't only able to identify cloud-to-cloud -cloud strokes as a type, but that we can also register the precise height they're occurring at. This method isn't offered by any other system and was therefore able to be patented by Naukast. When the number and altitude of the intercloud strokes rise significantly, there is an acute danger. That's the signal for the hail flyers to take off. You then fly towards a lightning cell and have to use the data available to decide where is the right place I can inject the chemicals. We always inject upwind of a storm cloud and you have to find that area as quickly as possible. When you think about what can happen in a weather system in the space of five minutes, you realize just how important it is to have real-time data. And I always say the lightning data is the most current data you can get. Nowcast has been measuring all thunderstorms in Europe for many years and has extended its lightning measurement network across all continents. We believe that lightning data is needed wherever you are, especially for countries that are currently lacking the necessary technical equipment. It is a very cost-effective and efficient way for them to protect themselves from severe weather events.